Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jerry Cooey. I'm Deborah Nelson. And once again, you found us, Mediacom Channel 27, 4.30 to 5 every Saturday, Channel 27. And uh, you can find us on YouTube. Uh, just type in Santa Rosa Week. And uh, all the shows are there. You can watch them at your, at your leisure. Uh, we just get started this week, Deborah. A little, a little, a little story in the Pensacola News Journal, and uh, written by Mike Papantonio. He is one of their uh, resident uh, columnists. <laughs> Viewpoint. Well, you call him what you want to. I actually, for a change, I actually read this one because I, I because I think it has uh, significance to all of us. Uh, the subject was Blackwater quietly expanding its reach. And ladies and gentlemen, we're not talking about the Blackwater River. Uh, we're talking about the much ballyhooed organization that you've heard a lot about in Iraq, uh, the Blackwater Security Team. And, uh, you know, I guess... when Mel Multi-million dollar mercenary company. Multi-million dollar mercenary. And, you know, when you're over here, and you know, and and democracy strong in this country, and you and you look over there, and 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 I know I myself because I've I've kind of kept up and watched this. Um, I've I've even thought to myself, you know, that's that's probably not a bad idea. These guys are 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 highly trained, may, maybe even more highly trained than than some of the military people. They have maybe access to some unique weapons, and and and. and Heck, they're fighting bad guys over there. So, you know, uh, they're on foreign soil. But, but Except when they were hired after, in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina and they were taking people's yeah, guns away. And, and ladies and gentlemen, that's... Uh, the, uh, when, you, when you jump from foreign soil to domestic mm -hmm. soil, that's, that's where the problem is. And, that, and that's the point that uh, Mr. Papantonio is making, is that uh, these guys are mercenaries and, and sometimes you have to be careful for what you wish for. Now, we all know that in the United States of America, it's actually against the law to have a standing army on our soil. The Constitution forbids it. The main reason it forbids it is, A, the government should never be doing anything to its citizens that they would need an army for. And, and one of the other reasons, and, 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 and I think it's, it's my opinion and backed up by the Constitution, the Constitution clearly states that when your government abuses you to a certain point, it's not only your right, you have an obligation to overthrow that government, start over again. Maybe that's the reason that Blackwater came about. Well, it, 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 along those lines. it is very suspicious to me. Uh, you know, the world, uh, certainly uh, U.S., full of fear after the 911 attacks and, 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 and that Patriot Act. You know, it sounds so nice and docile, and it's, it's a Patriot it's it's patriotic. You know, that's what you're led to believe. Don't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. They can tap your phone. They can drag you out in the middle of the night. They can hold you in, in secret prisons all over the place. It's, it's just wrong. And, and, and I appreciate Mr. Papantonio bringing this out because Blackwater's in the United States of America today. They serve a similar function that the Gestapo <laughs> the, the, originally served on, yeah. under Hitler. Hitler's regime. Yeah, you know, they, uh, they could easily segue into an American Gestapo. Right, and and look, I I, I want to believe, uh, I don't know, I, th I think especially in the South, there's probably enough rednecks with guns. We could hold them off for a little while. The South would be the last area <laughs> that that would come under Blackwater control. You know, I, I I know I know a few folks that can that can shoot a deer from great distances. So you know, if if times get rough, I, I want to believe we. We, we could hold them off, but, but there is a danger there. There is a danger. If your government said, you know, we want more control of you, well, if they send in a private militia that doesn't have to answer to anybody, right. and they have private unadvertised meetings like we discussed in the last show. Right. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of those. Yeah. And, 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 and again, they were taking people's guns away during Katrina, which is, you know, a time... Yeah. As a citizen, I would want to have a firearm to protect me. Uh, con considering uh, everything that was going on, uh, you know, and, and and I think back to the to the riots many years ago in California. You know, there was a lot of people up in arms because that one citizen had an AK forty seven, mm -hmm. but he was up on his roof in front of the store that he had worked hard to pay for right. and to make a living, 
And you know what? Nobody bothered him. Nobody even came in his store because he had a gun. I don't think he had to pick anybody off. I think he probably put a few holes in the uh, asphalt out in front of his place. But he was able to defend what belonged to him. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it is dangerous. It, it bears that we pay attention. And as yeah. you said, it said in the last show, to be vigilant about what our government is, is doing. Well, Blackwater is now at a size where it's going to be very inconvenient for them to have to... Um, Downsize? Downsize. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're at, they've, I think, achieved that critical mass where they're, you know, they need to be out there looking for new duties, you know, in order well, to keep the company growing. You know, if Mr. Papantonio's numbers are correct, and, and of, course, of course these guys are, um, uh, uh, they earn a salary, they're, they're paid, paid mercenaries. His numbers indicate that a soldier in the U.S. military earns $70 a day. And these guys make fifteen hundred dollars right. a day, right? And uh, certainly, they made a great deal of their money in Iraq. Uh, apparently, somewhere around a billion dollars that they made. And a billion dollars doesn't go as far as it used to, but it's still a billion it's dollars, far. especially yeah, if it's can... tax free. <laughs> yeah. So we we just wanted to put that out there, ladies and gentlemen. Watch your government. Uh, watch your government. You know. This, this seems so unimportant when you're watching Blackwater in Iraq doing the mission of democracy. Well, they've been accused of atrocities in Iraq as well. Uh, but, which, but, which, but, thanks to the rules that we set up over there, they right. apparently can't be prosecuted for. But, but, but once again, let's remember that they don't have advertised public meetings either. So That's, That is correct. You know, very, very, very bad situation. Well, Deborah, um, you know, to catch everybody up, we did have a state park uh, in Navarre. Yes. Uh, the state decided that they no longer wanted to uh, maintain ownership of the state park. That is correct. They gave us, they gave us, Santa Rosa County, they gave us the park back with the improvements that were there and, and they paid to bring it back up to pre-Hurricane Ivan mm -hmm. uh, standards. They put whatever pavilions and, and this, that, and the other. So it was given back to us as, as it was when, when, when they took it. And so the county is now looking, uh, what, what should we do with it? Well, what do you think? Yeah, they've convened uh, public input sessions, which um, honestly, in, in my experience, often precede decisions that maybe won't be so popular in the long run, well, let's have a couple of public input sessions. You remember um, on the sound front side, we had a lot of public input sessions before we about high rises before right decided to put high rises and, in. And then we had a then we had a few meetings after Hurricane Ivan when everybody was trying to keep water from hitting right. their head with holes in their roofs. Right. But we still had meetings right. to decide what we were going to do. Yeah. The, you know, look, I I want us to get a lot of public input. The, the danger of public input, it is very easy. For, for example, I'm in favor of, if, if I were in favor of windmills on, on Navarre, land. on public land, and I knew that there was a meeting on X date, I would pick up the phone or send an email to my employees. Say, so you're saying you're, you're, a power company that wants to put yeah. windmills on. Yeah, say I'm, a, say I'm a power company that has a vested interest in that. I can load the wagon and make the survey right. results look whatever, whatever they want to. That could happen. You know,